no further without further ado um she makes her home in queens new york yeah, yeah. Uh, she has a company fancy uh fancy Nan fancy fancy beauty llc uh -huh. um fancy took her talents for the belly she also works for bella body and spa also in queens she's the lead celebrity hmm, this is where it gets tricky with the words esthetician <laughs> yeah drop by for me for getting it right She's a lead celebrity esthetician as well, man. Give it up for Fancy. Hey. You guys, give it up for Fancy, man. Fancy, Fancy. Yes, yeah, Fancy. Okay. So, I guess, bef I guess, let's, let me ask you first, um, how are you, by the way? I'm doing great. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. Thank you for being here. We are all mm -hmm. honored to have you. Um, what is an esthetician two-part question what is an esthetician and what makes you a lead esthetician okay an esthetician we care about skin care body sculpting we're here for the women we're here for the men that get their body done women that get their body done people who are shy about talking about getting their mm. body done mm -hmm. that's a big thing mm -hmm. okay so as and a go ahead you want to say something no no go ahead, go ahead so as an esthetician what what services i have some of the services here that you have to offer but I, I guess i'll ask what services do you have to offer as an esthetician okay so i do fillers i do butt enhancement i do body sculpting i do lymphatic drainage after mm -hmm. getting surgery done got to keep that body snatched I do facials, 24 karat. I do vampire facials. I heard of that one. Yeah. I see, yeah, I the see blood. the blood yes. all in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? Vampire, vampire facials. facials. So I draw blood uh -huh. and I re-inject it all in your face to wow. rejuvenate, keep you looking 10 years younger. Yeah. It's the best facial besides the 24 karat gold. Okay. Those so are my two favorite facials. A 20. You take the blood I'm, I'm familiar. From yourself. But From I, you, I draw I'm the only, blood. I'm only familiar with um, giving ladies facials. Oh. Hey. Hey. Okay. Hey. Ladies, ah. let me tell you something. First oh of all, God. First that of all. might be good for our skin. Ah. That really might be good. Vitamin, this is vitamin. Listen, we'll be taking blood out. He's taking it from yo. somewhere and it's going back in your face. First of all, yo, what, what is that bomb, bro? That bomb is trash, bro. Oh, I don't know. I, I, what? I That's not your bomb, bro. That's not the regular bomb. Yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. You, it's you not the Haitian level you bomb. You don't got the Haitian level bomb. I'm looking for it right now. They, that, they bomb, that bomb. That bro. bomb is not it. <laughs> <laughs> that bomb is not. That bomb sounds like a firecracker, bro. Oh, that bomb man. is not it. I'm looking for my bomb. <laughs> so, 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 vampire. I right, vampire. I seen that before. That's like they take. They take the blood, inject it, but then that's a process because I know when I seen it, their face still was like red bloody. and bloody for mm -hmm. like two mm -hmm. days after. So yeah, what's it rejuvenates. The it, um, the recovery is about four days. It rejuvenates your skin, keep you looking healthy. People who don't want to do Botox mm -hmm. and just want to find lines to go away, this is just an alternative. Mm -hmm. So we have so many things we could talk about. We can do Botox, and we have healthier ways not to do Botox for the girls that don't want to do it. Right. Okay. okay so mm -hmm. what's the um. Sorry, y'all, this, this camera, clearly one of these cameras don't work. So if you hear, we hear, we hear that, it's going to vanish soon. All right. What's a, what's a 24 karat gold? What, what is 24 it? karat gold is a, is a, yep. You did, it before? Got a, you did yeah. it before? Yeah. It's a gold facial. Um, like I said, it rejuvenates the skin, takes mm -hmm. away the fine lines. It just keeps you looking younger. Who wants, 40s is literally the new 20s. Who wants to look like 40? I'm, I don't. I'm kind of approaching it, but I hope I don't look like it. I don't mm. look it. How how was your how was your experience when you did it? <laughs> it was it was fun. Like I I mean they always offer it to me for like promo. Like I had it like two three times. Um, it's fun. I like getting facial. It's very like, relaxing. I do it for the relaxing part mm -hmm. of things, not the keeping like young kind of thing. And it's kind of like with the whole like. You know, like keeping keep, up with yourself. You keep up yeah, with yourself. maintenance. And you said, you know, who want to look forty? I just feel like I don't think it's an age thing when mm -hmm. it comes to aging. You know, like if you take care of your skin, like you know, make sure you do things. Cause honestly, I mean, a lot of older women that look a lot better than a twenty-one year old. You yeah, know why? Why? Why it, is that? Why do they look I, younger? Honestly, this is my whole thing. When you're twenty-one, you're young. 
Mm-hmm. But a lot of 21 year olds are broke. They can't take care of themselves. They can't get certain things. They can't get She's that certain right. treatment, right? Mm-hmm. But when you like in your late 30s, 40s, you could afford certain things. So if you take care of yourself, I see a lot of older women that look better than a 21 year old. If you're looking at um, Bundle or Britney, if mm. you're looking at that girl that Diddy was with, mm-hmm. uh, Joey the Spanish mm-hmm. girl, if you're looking mm-hmm. at so many women, uh, Kim, Kim K, like this yeah. woman are uh, in their 40s and they're looking like the 25, 27. Yeah. It's really how you take up yourself. And I see young women that's 21 and they're looking 30. Crazy. I'm like, yeah, ain't no fact. way Crazy. you tw- you're 21 yeah, they years like old. They smoke a pack and they a look day. like they, they smoke Correct. a pack a day. They yeah, look dumb. Fact. They look washed. They're not taking care of yourself. Yeah. So mm-hmm. with, with like looks and beauty is how you take care of your body, Facts. how you take care of yourself. Absolutely. It doesn't have nothing. I know some people age well and if you're not sick or you're not anything, you should be taking care of yourself but you shouldn't have to worry about. Because if you take care of yourself as a black woman, especially black women because mm-hmm. we age better, mm-hmm. that have been proven, you could go Period. 45 and still looking minimum 30. Looking Halle Berry, so. Right. Halle. She looks like Halle she's Berry, 21. Yeah, Halle Berry, I feel like she's, she's exceptional. A, listen, listen. So, That's my wife in my next life, just so you okay. know. Halle Berry's okay. my wife. Okay. Yeah. In my next life. Yeah, you so. can have you can have my we're, seconds. We're That's sweet. cool. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah, this guy, right? <laughs> Don't mind. <laughs> This I had her right. in this life. Man. Listen, okay. It's so let me let, so. so let me ask you, Fancy. So, um, Danny was just saying that you know if you keep up with your skin, mm-hmm. uh, if you keep up with skincare, you could look beautiful. Doesn't matter what age you are. So I come into your place. I get a facial. Are you providing me with the tools and the? Yep, le- I gave you I everything. Can... So once I'm doing the facial, it's gonna be it. So I'm not talking. I'm not doing anything. I want you to relax. I want you to feel comfortable with me. Once you're comfortable, I'll, I'll look, I'll analyze your skin, I'll see what you need. As soon as we're done with the facial, I'll mm-hmm. give you a car, let you know the aftercare. Okay. So doing a facial with me is one thing, but if you don't do the aftercare, it's no upkeep. You're just gonna look like blah. Right. So it's always an aftercare card. And then I see you back in four weeks. Yeah, right. that goes for everything. It's mm-hmm. a good question. Here's another question I have for you, Fancy. Correct. Um, is this option only via cash and credit card or can somebody pay for this with their with their health care mm. um that is Good coming up i'm gonna soon take um care credit that's all in the works okay especially for the body sculpting packages that we have girls who are doing lipo injections carboxy that's a fat burning machine that we use mm-hmm. to literally burn fat right then and there so wow. you do so you do lipo injections correct yeah, lipo. what's that like- lipo injections is basically killing the fat pockets in certain areas okay so we're not plastic surgeons but we're close to it Mm, so a lot of girls who come in and they want maintenance who wants to keep getting round two round three round four surgery but you know what i not to cut you off you know what i hate about girls that get their body done i'm not like i I don't have no type of surgery in my body Mm -hmm. like and i'm not like oh my god i'm special no we well, do invasive. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, this I is know what about I that. hate about a lot of women who get their body Oops. done and that goes for a second round and that goes for a third round. Mm-hmm. I'm I going. feel like <sighs> if you're going to go get your body done, be dedicated to this. Okay, mm-hmm. you get what okay. I'm saying? Okay. You're going back for a second round. You're going back for a third round. It's because y'all don't want to work out. Y'all get your body done and y'all go back to eating. Y'all go back to y'all daily <laughs> things. So <laughs> why pay all this money if you're not going to take care of your body, if you're not going to go to the gym? I see women that get their body done and they get their way back and less than a year because they're not taking care of your body. Mm. If you're about to go get your body done, it should be like, and they tell them you got to go to the gym and exercise. They don't yeah. want to do mm-hmm. none of that. So they're going back and back and back till they don't mess say. up their body mm-hmm. that's how a lot of women girls get fibrosis becomes, and cirrhosis and all that but stuff i feel like that's what that's how a lot of women really Saroma. mess up their body <laughs> yeah. and you see their body look crazy it's because they keep going back they don't want to work out they don't want to do that process mm-hmm. they just want to go keep going under the knife and mm-hmm. after a while they just mess up their whole body and that's mm-hmm. when fancy fancy comes exactly. to play. i want to get there don't don't don't, don't get there <laughs> i want to do the pre op and post out there get there. Don't, don't 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 get there yet I, we, okay. that was perfect but we gonna, we gonna get there that was that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Danny, because I'm glad Danny just mentioned that because mm-hmm. we, we definitely need to get there because mm-hmm. Danny made such a great goddamn point. Yes, yeah, she did. But so as a dude, so uh, uh, I don't know if you know the, the, the there's a rapper. Um, I think it was Badman Kevo. Yeah. He got his body done. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's a so, looking so good. So you said lipo, male lipo. So if I don't want to go and get the whole ab situation that Kevo did, can you do some lipo of course. treatment? I do, and I you would, would... Honestly, looking at you, quick, we would do carboxy skin tightening because we don't want to burn fat and then what have loose skin. No, Who wants you that? want to tighten up, tighten tighten, up your skin? Skin tightening. 
So and what else? How can like I, Danny how can was I saying, good? who wants to come do four or five rounds, right? right? Mm-hmm. You do your first round, or you don't want to do any rounds. You mm-hmm. want to yeah. just do innovative to keep up with your right. with yourself. Go ahead, tell, tell me more about it. Why, yes. Why <laughs> <laughs> you already slim, bro. You got to talk yeah. about a big dude, right? That's big dude. No, no, look, right. but, look, but notice, but notice, and we're going to get to this too. Notice Badman Kevo, the guy, mm-hmm. went and got his body done, and she was like, ooh, looking damn good. Yeah. And I want to know if that's the same reaction that everybody everybody gives when a woman does it cuz yeah. now I feel like a, a dude who does it might not be as judged as some of the women who do it. No, I, I judge a man that does, does it. it. I think oh, yeah, Master yeah. Flex did it. Oops. Did I, I say mean, that? I just cuz I feel like <laughs> this is my whole thing. I feel like it's your body you do what you want. But I also feel like a man is supposed to work hard to get what they what so they I want. can't. So you trying to say I can't? In, it's it's in, you can't in, get invasive. It. I'm for team snatch. What's it called? Okay. In, in invasive. The, Inva- I'm not, I'm not procedures. Nobody, so that means not invasive. You gotta yeah, understand. Non-invasive. I am a woman. Yeah. I am a woman, and I just feel like a man's job is not to look sexy, cute. A man's job is to be a real man and <laughs> but get it's money. Invasive. What? I don't care. What? It's, it's invasive. I want your belly. I want your belly. Come get your car box seat and your life on shine. It's invasive. But it's really. Whatever works for you because you know yeah. uh, surgery is like uh, evolving. Yeah, so right. a lot of women need to do used to do it, but now men is not mm-hmm. women like them. This works fast. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you could go to the process, if you want to go and get the surgery and get the massages, if that don't bother you as a man, go ahead and do it. Correct. No. You know? So so fancy. I don't, if you're comfortable. Did you get your body done, and I what sh- did you get done? I sure did. I did lipo 360 BBL. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I did fillers. I did sculpture. Uh, you you, you got to break down these things. Oh, okay, so lipo 360 BBL, 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 Brazilian butt lift. Brazilian butt lift. Lipo 360 wait, 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 BBL. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you got to slow down. That's what I'm saying. You got to slow down. For, what is that? You don't understand this. Listen, listen. You didn't just do one. I had a lot of procedures. Listen, everything is bad. Really bad. I know exactly what it is. I want to look like a Barbie. I, I know exactly what it is because I, I knew I know. you got your butt done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did you get done exactly? Okay, and, and break it one by one, like they said. No, one like, by say one. Okay. you got done, okay. and then break it down one by one so we could understand. The dummies, okay. the dummies. Okay, the I got dummies. lipo 360. You got yeah. lipo 360. Then I got a Brazilian butt lift. You got uh-huh. a Brazilian butt lift. Then I got fillers, you got sculpture. Fillers. Okay. Uh-huh. And then I added. Plasma gel. Okay. Two, plasma gel to the ass. The I did booty. a lot of work on that. That's your camera if you want to show it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rudy Tootie, fresh and fruity. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Yes. Okay. And then I got, I wanted a, a sharper jaw. So mm-hmm. I did Botox. You did your I, jaw. Jaw. Botox, okay. Mm-hmm. I did more fillers underneath because I've seen too much fat. So okay, I got mesotherapy fillers. here. Okay. Um, but my wait, lips wait, are good. Wait, 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 wait. I got to, I got to, I got to cut. I'm so not to cut you like off. Seven, right? No, but I got to <laughs> stop. I think it was more, but I got to stop. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. It sounds like you're naming things that's not necessarily the surgery. The, like, no, I did a lot of non-invasive just, things. Yeah, so just, one yeah, surgery yeah, I did was yeah, the yeah, lipo yeah. Okay, 360. Yeah. Start with the, because Brady, you got you to separate the two. Because when I hear you saying... Uh, uh, like fillers, sting, therapy. Yeah. That don't sound That's like a, a it's surgery. Like, but it's still all like works. They call it's it works. works. See yeah. what I'm saying? But my whole thing is, I'm not trying to come for you. We we having an interview. Come for me, right? No, cause I'm just you know some people are sensitive. My whole thing is, why do you feel like you need so much surgery? Like from like all different thing, like because a lot of people. Let me let me tell you why I'm asking this question. Because a lot of people feel like girls who get their body done don't love themselves. That's uh-huh. why. That's why people saying like. Okay. It's a big. That's topic. a stereotype. Yeah. stereotype that's a stereotype. Yeah. Girls yeah. who get their body done don't love themselves. I say if you get your body done, you could do it for you. You're not doing it for the world. Like yeah. just because you get your body done doesn't mean you don't love yourself. Just okay. because I go get an extension doesn't mean I don't love my hair. Mm-hmm. I just want longer hair. So. Why do you think people feel like girls who get this much work done don't have no self esteem or love their well, body? Answer, or answer like personally that. for you. For I, me, I, I, I feel like I just want to look beautiful all the time. This mm-hmm. is my industry. I I do aesthetics. I love women looking beautiful. So I also want to look beautiful. So once they walk in the door, they see me. They feel they feel comfortable. Like yes, mm, you've done that. Yeah, yeah. Who wants to go into a spa and I'm doing life? They don't know what. Who They're gonna ask to... me, how does it feel? What well, I'm gonna say, I don't know. I know how right. everything feels. Who wants feels. to go to a yeah. barber facts. that hair is jacked up? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, facts. You're lying. You're but lying, crooked. But before hey, you, you get gonna cut the my surgery hair. done, 
Did you feel insecure about your body? No, actually, uh, my body, body was kind of cute before I got it done. I just wanted to enhance it. I just wanted hey, a better hey, ass, flatter hey, stomach, hey. Uh-huh. and just bigger everything. Super size Ooh, it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It's bigger, it's oh better. My God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> did you get your answer? Before oh, I no, keep going? Oh, no, I definitely got my answer. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, okay. you know, like, that's why people say, like, men, some men be like, why you got your body done? Why you got your butt done? You couldn't stay you, natural? You know what it is? You know this? Yeah, I, 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 I like that lie. question. I, I like that. Lie. I ain't gonna lie. Um, before I was informed, mm-hmm. right? Before I was educationally informed, right? Mm-hmm. About the whole process, right? At first, I was saying, you know, you know what? Oh, you know, you should just see, be this way and be that way. But at the same time, my thing is this. It all depends on motives, Mm-hmm. What is your motive? You understand? If this is something that is building your self-esteem, making you feel more complete with yourself and more happy with yourself, I'm all for it. Because think about it. People who go to the gym, right? They go to the gym. Some people go to the gym for their natural health, mm-hmm. and some people go for the gym for results. To enhance their body. Just to look, look at uh, themselves yeah. I go, I go, I go to enhance my body. Manner. Exactly. Like, I go to the gym to me- for mental health issues. Okay, for mental health issues. Right, so now right. the thing is that, when people come to, and everybody have their own self-esteem, right? Okay. So now it's self-esteem, mm-hmm. right? It's how you look at yourself. It's how you carry yourself. It's how you feel, feel about, about yourself. yourself. So who's to tell you how to feel about yourself? So this, and this is something that can cause you to feel better about yourself. It's not illegal. Mm-hmm. You're right. not hurting anyone. I completely am for it. So then, so that's so back to you. Me. Yeah. I can't get... You could get your body Come done, baby. Now. You could do as a man. This is my whole thing. Stop playing thing. with me. Stop playing this with me. Stop Come playing see with me. Come see Fancy Fancy. Why are you stretch? I'm about to be snatched out here. This is what I'm trying to tell everybody. I'm going to 6'9", 300 that's, pounds and got him that's snatched. What, that's, yeah. what I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell everybody, right? Yeah, Danny. What's up? It's your body. Yeah. Like that goes for anybody. I could say whatever I want. That's what I want. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a talker. I talk whatever come out of my mouth. Sometimes what I say doesn't make sense. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it, it, it's true. It's your body. You do whatever you want with your body. You yeah. want to go to the gym? You go to the gym. You want to get your body done? Is your money? Is your body? Is your time? You risking your life. Mm-hmm. Just whatever makes you happy. Getting your body done. Don't make you happy. Mm-hmm. I had a friend. She had low self-esteem. She thought getting her body done was going to make her happy. Mm-hmm. She got her body done. She's still insecure. It doesn't change what's in here. That's because that's that's she because got that it. wasn't the issue. That wasn't the issue. That wasn't the issue. That's, that's, that's not the issue. And I'm trying to tell you, if you're going to get your body done, get your body done for the right for you. reasons. Mm-hmm. You know, if, you're, if you right think reason. you're going to get your body done and all of a sudden you're going to have self-esteem, that's a lie. Right. You're going to still... I, 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 I be a one girl that got the body done and they're still insecure about me. Since you got a whole butt and you got a... a let me let me about? let me twist you this got, to you, Danny. Change your insecurity. True. Let me let so me. So get your body done something that should make you feel good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me twist this question to you, f- just for argument's sake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What would you say to someone who says it's easy for you to say because you have a good body? Mm. Oh, how would you respond if somebody nice. was like, you can't see it that way because you don't need it or you don't. I'm not against surgery, and I tell people when my titties start getting saggy, I'm getting a, a, <laughs> my breast lift. That's a yeah. fact. Or you can come see fancy fancy and, and get if some I'm tired of working out, I'm gonna get a little belly tuck down there and, and chill out. I do not. I'm not against surgery. I don't need it. I don't do it. I'm not against if a woman wanna go get their body done and you know look good because I see women that get their body done and they look that it looks great. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It looks really great. I'm just. I just don't like women that overdo it. And it's like you mess your body up for no reason. There was nothing wrong with your body. Now it's like your 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 legs is too it was the wrong, big for so, your like. So I, that's a good question because I have I have two questions for you. Actually, that okay. brought up a lot that okay. I want to ask you. So I'm gonna try to remember it and break it down. We'll, we'll go back to the aftercare of okay, getting your body done. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I have a question because you are in this business as a as. As aesthetics, you know, I'm doing the escort. Yeah, I like esthetician. Get it right. Get it right. Esthetician. Um, skincare, right? body sculpting, so pre-op, let post-op. You, let me ask you this because you don't do the, the the complete thing. But if you had someone who came in and you felt that they were doing it or doing these uh, enhancements for the wrong reason, does it matter to you as someone who has this business? Do you say, do you have that conversation? Do you recommend, I think you should go to therapy before you do these things? Oh, yeah, definitely. Or do, or if is I all see business good business? No, not all business is good business. 
a lot of girls come, especially the butt hand enhancement. A lot of girls come to me, they already have illegal, I don't deal with illegal butt shots. So mm -hmm. now you have illegal right. butt shots, I can't put a healthy filler in you, like plasma. Plasma is, I draw blood, I put it in a centrifuge, and I take the plasma out of your blood. This is mm -hmm. healthy, and I re-inject it back in your butt. Mm -hmm. So now, this is all healthy. So now as you're gaining weight, it is it directing. Lifts, what is it? Lift my butt. Yes, correct. So it's going back. So it's a, it's a process. So don't think I put the plasma in your butt. It's right. like boom. Yeah. It's 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 gonna grow. So now if you have a filler already in there that's illegal, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do that because mm -hmm. I don't want to. You have to handle that first before you come see me. Take it out. Are there people who I have a lot of clients that, that come in. Somebody and, just would do that. And um, just... I wouldn't personally do it because I care about it's health yeah, first mm -hmm. and my license too. Of course, <laughs> I'm not losing that. Um, and then let's let's backtrack to the, the yeah. The, before the, you backtrack, yeah. I want to say something. You said, "Oh, Danny, you got." Some people would be like, "You got the perfect body," and you know, you don't understand what I go through if mm -hmm. I want to get my body done. There is no such thing as a perfect body. Okay, no, no. get over yourself. There is no such thing as a perfect body. Just because you see the most beautiful girl doesn't mean she's not dealing with her own insecurity. People don't know that about me. I hate wearing bikinis because I feel like I don't got no waist. Uh -huh. I, I hate it. I hate that part about my body. And no, every, every woman got something they do not like about their body. That's just woman. So if you're a woman, you think you're the only one that don't like their body. Some women feel like they're too skinny. Some women feel like they're, they're too, too big. big. Some women be like, their ass is too big. Some people, a lot of, every woman got insecurity. The pick up. I, I met the most beautiful girl somewhere in a club, and I was a little bit insecure to be around her. Mm -hmm. To find out, she started talking, I feel like my nose is today. So mm -hmm. I feel like, I'm like, girl, you're like, you look like Kim K. What, what do you want? It's like, you're never going to, there's no such thing as perfection. And as soon as a woman knows that, they're going to stop being insecure about the way they look. You, Everybody's beautiful in their own way. You're gonna mm -hmm. you're gonna find what works for you. You could get all this surgery and you're still not happy. Mm -hmm. and that's but I'm why about I'm maintenance and self care. Perfect. So let's talk so, about that. You what 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 did you? Can you repeat? I'm about some of the things that you did and self care. Uh, personally, me. Personally, yeah. the lipo 360. Okay, and what's that? That's removing fat from my abdomen, mm -hmm. my um, my back. Mm -hmm. BBL is a Brazilian butt lift. Oh, yeah, I know that's that a, that's Putting a, it in there. And that's boop, boop. taking the lipo, Stability. taking the fat out, and put mm -hmm. it in your butt and lifting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you said aftercare. Danny brought that up as well. Um, what's the aftercare like for doing something like that? Aftercare, you're going to be with me for a good aftercare is six months. Getting massages, going into body sculpting. Three mm. months of lymphatic drainage. I have to drain out all the blood, all the fluids. Yeah. So who wants fibrosis? Who wants seroma? Who wants that lumpy stomach? I know you guys see girls with that lump, lump. Mm -hmm. And now they come to me. I make sure that it's smooth, flat belly. Mm -hmm. Make sure I don't touch the butt for at least about four months because we need to let it heal and let mm -hmm. it plump out. Of course. And so I'm keeping it tight. I got a question with the yeah. massages, right? Mm -hmm. Do you need like a license to do massages? Because my friend, she got, you know, she I got her body done, mm -hmm. and then she had a few massages from, mm -hmm. you know, the regular people. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, she asked me to do some massages for her because mm -hmm. I'm really good at massages, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And I was so good, I came back and see her body. I was kind of proud. I'm yeah. like, God damn. She was like, I'm an esthetician. I yeah. an esthetician. Yeah. And then I came back and I was like, I'm not like, only, oh, I'm, I'm really she was like, I did yeah, that. Yeah, you do need a massage. Because you know what, sometimes I did that. I, yeah. I, I, did, the, I did that. And then I would go back and she would be like, oh my God, can you give me a massage? I'm like, Sis, you don't even need a massage anymore. Like, I'm not your man. I'm, I'm not going to say you did a bad massage, but yes, you do need a license because there's some things that you learn in school. You see her body. Yeah, you know, I'm, was, I'm sure she's snatched. But people always tell me, like, yo, why don't you get into massages? Because I'm really good at it. I'm mm -hmm. really good with my hands. Yeah. Like, I, that's no, I'm really good with my hands. So, Ooh, so, so, before, so, yeah. before I got my license, <laughs> I, I was you know. I, I trained. I was trained, trained by Hi Ashley. Thank you in Miami. She taught me everything. I love you, Ashley. Mm -hmm. Um, I was trained first. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, you know what? I wanna make more yeah. legit because I wanna turn this I into a business. Yeah, I was trained too. I so, was trained by a dude I was dating. He was like really good in my okay. like he just showed me, but then you I need to know the like, points, the lymphatic yeah, drainage. You need to know where to massage, where to bring the fluid down so these girls can correctly oh, drink. Okay, okay, you know, okay. massage is one thing. Okay. I need a little more job. You, you gotta, gotta be a little okay, bit more okay, technical okay, about it. All right. So so Let's just overlook the fact that Danny was trained on how to give massages by a dude who was probably massaging her. Okay. Uh, no, exactly. Facts. Why. All right. That let's, was doing on my ass. That was doing on my ass. <laughs> <head. laughs> 
Uh, oh, let's, yeah. let's not overlook that. That's out of the All world. right, we got. <laughs> we got to make sure that we heard that and adjust that. Um, my sister says, uh, uh, and is this anything that you could do about a situation like this? My sister says that the fake ones don't be shaking the same. Yeah. If if it doesn't shake the same, is that because of? Uh, uh, and I and I have a point to this. Is it because of aftercare? Why some look tight, tight. and then mm. yep. you have situations. So when you explain that, you have situations like um, K Michelle who had to remove, remove it remove. and uh, Nicki Minaj pop. So mm -hmm. explain all of that. Okay, K Michelle, we all know she got illegal butt shots. Illegal mm. butt shots is the worst thing a girl can do because okay. you don't know what's being injected in you. Silicone, sometimes cement, crazy yeah. things. Cement. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I heard about that. He's crazy yeah. things. And, 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 Cement gets hard. So that's Listen, why yes. that's the plumpy. That's the, yeah. And the cheaper countries, and mm. I'm saying, say, I'm saying third, no, Mexico, say third, third world, world countries. I'm third out there. Countries, third world countries. They would give a cheaper process. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody knows about going to DR, right? Yes. But certain places in DR, you know, and DR been the most popular spot because, you know, they've mm. been doing things for a lot cheaper than the rates in the, new, in, in the States. Because I know in the, in the States, I know when they first started coming out, it was costing, it was costing like 10K, 11K, mm -hmm. 12K. Yeah. Where you were to take that same amount of money and go to DR, and that will pay for your whole Everything. trip. Situation. It'll pay for the surgery. It'll pay for the recovery home. It'll pay for the flights. It'll mm. pay for everything that you needed to pay for within that same amount of money that you would pay for just the surgery in the States. So if you think about it, I understand where they're mm. coming from, but it is not the right way to go mm. if you don't know limb by limb. Paper by paper, paper, note by note, mm -hmm. what's going in you? Whenever I, you laying that on a table, yeah, the most period, healthy thing. But I feel like, like with the, the shaking thing, I feel like part of it might be with bad. You might get a bad butt job. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like I see women with their body, with their booty done, and they're shaking mm -hmm. it like they it's jello. Mm -hmm. You feel yeah, me? me yeah, I just yeah. feel like, and some women sure. are just stiff. Mm -hmm. You never know how to shake your booty. You never gonna know how to shake your booty, and, and that's it, that. It ain't gonna change. It ain't gonna change. If you if you don't got sex appeal, that's not gonna change. Sex appeal, you can buy it. Just like you can buy swag. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have sex appeal, you could get your. I see women with their body, then that still look looks. Yeah. And that's still gonna look sexy. Right. You can't buy sex. Mm -hmm. Sex you bought. Sex appeal. I'm born with sex appeal. So I yeah. don't know what I'm talking exactly. about. Exactly. Right. You better do much. You better talk your talk. 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 You know what I'm saying? Show them that sex appeal. Show them that shit. You can't say shit. You talking about swag. That's when people are trying to buy swag and they got million dollars and it's still not. You can't buy you sex appeal. You can't buy swag. You can't buy certain things. That's just that. Now listen, I'm not trying to buy swag. I got that. So the girls are the book fillers. But what I'm trying to get is like vitamin C shots. To loosen it up. So after oh, you do, wait, what's after, that for? Vitamin C is to after surgery. This is for the BBL. Okay. Okay. So you do vitamin C shots to loosen to make sure the fat that's healing doesn't like Danny says doesn't become stiff. It can't jiggle. So this is after about four months of surgery. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. jiggle. jiggle, jiggle. Okay. Now jiggle. the girls who do fillers. Now we're going back to DR. DR has probably. I'm not gonna promote fillers illegal fillers but they have probably the in their country actually is not illegal it's called hydrogel let's mm. talk about so that that's not it's part. illegal in america but in dr that's why girls go and get their fillers because it's legal in their the country jiggle, with wow. the jiggle part right the breast part mm -hmm. now I see most women that I see get their breasts done Silicone. are not coming Silicone. for women. Most women that I see get their breasts done, their breast is hard. Mm -hmm. And I touched it. I don't, I don't, I'm like, yeah, if, if, Sounds I know a lot of women that get their breasts done. I don't ever feel like, like the real mm -hmm. thing, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, and I'm like, do you even get sensation in your, in your breast? Let me tell you another yeah. thing about surgery. Okay. This is Break also a bad bitch sport, a rich girl sport. And mm -hmm. a lot of girls go in, they're flat chested because they don't want to take the steps. And they want to go do it properly. So if you're an A cup, you can't go to a triple D. No. You got to go in steps. So mm -hmm. these girls go to other countries and put a D cup and now it's stretched yeah, out so much stressed. they shouldn't have. They yeah. should have went to uh, a full C. Yeah, exactly. And then do surgery so let, again. So, so you got to get your money up, ladies. So let me ask uh -huh. you this. Um, to do a couple of surgeries. If somebody right. comes in and they hadn't had the proper work done, mm -hmm. Are you able in your in your practice to do things to correct, correct I fix it? almost all the fibros of fibrosis excuse me and seroma I fix 
almost 100% of all my cases that girls who come and do multiple surgeries. Mm -hmm, now, okay. after first round, you probably are not likely to get it, but when you do third, fourth, because you have no fat, it's not, right. it's a lot of scar tissue building up. And what's I like, use carboxy for that. What's like an example? Because um, in all honesty, mm -hmm. there's gotta be transparent here. Mm -hmm. Facts. Some of these names and, 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 and terms that you're dropping yep. is going over my head <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and just, <laughs> I just don't know what the hell she just said. <laughs> yeah, I do the fibrosis, but not break it down. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so give give like an example of someone who came in mm -hmm. and you had to do some corrective and just explain okay. a little bit of what One it is. One of my I don't, we don't beautiful get customers, mm -hmm. she came in, she did about four time lipo. Okay. Now she's like super snatched. There wasn't much fat for the doctor to take out, but doctors want their money, so they took out what was left. And now she's left with fibrosis. Fibrosis is a scar tissue under your muscle. Okay. So it leaves lumps in your stomach. So I use a tool called carboxy, and that carboxy is carbon nitrogen that's used for multiple things. It burns fat instantly, and while it's burning fat, that carbon nitrogen is taking away fibrosis. Is that an injection? Is injection. So, so it's I a could, small I could butterfly inject needle. That. Right here at the bottom of my lower abdomen. abdominal region. Mm -hmm. Correct. And Burn this fat. little fat. Mm -hmm. Because the lower, the lower sit-ups just it's don't get it. The reverse sit-ups just like don't. The it burns. Yeah, yeah, it don't, it don't hit. Yeah, bro. and it, it burns. Don't and that's why a lot of people got a football because it's the hardest. Yeah, it's hard. Mm -hmm. So, so I could just get an injection. Mm -hmm. like if that, you drink, yeah. alcohol is the it, the worst thing. The worst. The worst thing. Alcohol is unnecessary calories. If you're gonna drink alcohol, don't eat. I'm just saying. So I can get an injection. Do men do men come in? Oh, I have a lot of male clients. What what's something common that they they, they, common they is for now guys are coming to get the lipo shots the carboxy because guys mm -hmm. who want the lipo shots where the lipo shops in the abdomen that's what I'm talking about wow. so, so, wait a, so wait a second so what's the carboxy when when you put the carboxy I'm about to be we can put carboxy in many on, places on, hold under hold your hold chin so what does it do it burns fat all right, so pretty much, Instantly. pretty much. We call that the lipo machine. So that's like the 1500. No, it's very reasonable. Well, I was gonna. I was gonna. I was gonna. Per session. But good after I wanted to talk about what so, you just said. So pretty side. much, so pretty much, a dude. Okay, but Kev is a smaller guy, mm -hmm. right? A dude who's my size, right? More even sessions, though even though I'm slimming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, that's another topic, right? But um, anyway, a dude that's my size, right? Mm -hmm. More in the you know a two X, three X kind of guy, right? Mm -hmm. So he wants to come in <laughs> plumpy, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The good piece of chicken. You know yeah. what I mean? But um, a, a dude on a two two X three X side, right? Mm -hmm who wants to come in and get his stomach flat, right? Good. Mm -hmm. So like, pretty like much it's going to be, you're going to be um, doing lipo first, right? And then- Correct. And carbox I'll do carbox. I never lie. I'm not going to say, hey, in one session, you're snatched. No. I'm going to say, hey, I do a consultation. I said, I'll, your height, weight, all this, mm -hmm. you know, your BMI, all this. Same yes. thing as a doctor. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, you need X amount of sessions with me. Are you willing to be dedicated with me? And then we have that process and you'll see results. And then, so, now with this process, does this have to alter? Do you have to alter your diet throughout this process? Of course. I'm not going to, you're not going to be doing carboxy with me and then go home and eat four or five cheeseburgers. It's not going to work. Okay. okay. Keep your money. I don't want it. So mm -hmm. is, yeah. is, you said you charge like 200 for something specific. Sorry mm -hmm. guys, that camera, that camera's going in and out. For yeah. carboxy, but so we have I, packages. I we, that's a session. Well, we, you, okay. know, you don't got to say numbers. Mm -hmm. um, they they got to see you and reach out to you for the numbers. I'm just apologize to everybody on Twitch. Um, that camera keeps going in and out. So every time I click that specific camera three, for some reason it goes out, but we're here. Mm -hmm. Don't log off when you see that black, right? Um, is is the prices something reasonable that for, for, for a lot of the... Not the simple, no, I don't want to say simpler, mm -hmm. obviously, because that's an insult to, to your practice. But yeah. um, for, for some of these g great things that mm -hmm. I want, yeah. is it reasonable? Do I have to save for something like this? Can I nope. just. We make it reasonable for the everyday woman, the uh -huh. everyday man. We do payment plans, we work with people. Uh -huh. um, we want everyone. This used to be Hollywood. Mm -hmm. We want everybody Southside, Queens, Hollywood, Brooklyn, Hollywood. We all could be Hollywood, so mm. we make it a very reasonable price for the community. Okay, that's and then great. and then your practice is in Sorry. one one the bomb one. or round of applause. Go ahead, you can try again. <laughs> <laughs> give, it, give it, give it, another shot, yeah, baby. Give it another shot. Here, 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 here we go. <laughs> so, go. Um, just to get get a little bit, um, let's get personal. Um, about uh, you said you got body work done mm -hmm. with social media right now, and um, every just everything going on of of of. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, 
sides are being taken. Mm -hmm. Does any of that affect you personally? And does, does any of that affect the business? Not at all, because I do girls with their bodies done. I do uh -huh. girls without their bodies done. Uh -huh. um, it's just all like Danny was saying. It's how you feel about yourself. Some girls come and get their body done, still insecure. Some girls who don't got their body done, still insecure. My job is to make you feel beautiful, body done or not body done. That's my main goal. My main goal here today is to talk about girls who are, who go to get surgery yeah. that need to health wise. If you, if you know you got your hemoglobin is under a nine, girl, you can't go get surgery. But you don't will you die. Mm -hmm. don't yes, I want to talk yeah. about test it how. You gotta go yeah, to the you doctor. To you gotta go to the doctor. Make sure your blood, your iron done. levels is good, your high blood pressure. You yeah. these yeah. are things that in our community we're not talking about enough. A lot of minority girls are going to DR Mexico to get their bodies done, and they're coming back. They're not coming back. They're mm -hmm. dead because they don't know about the pre-op, mm -hmm. and that's very important. We have to talk about. Let's get your your iron up. All right. So let me let me let me just make this put in sim simple terms of a lot of things yeah. that I'm learning right now. Okay. okay. We all see on Instagram that everybody want their body mm -hmm. done. Everybody's like, you know, I want the butt. I want this. I mm -hmm. want that. It sounds like this is not as simple as it no. seems. It isn't. It to isn't. do it the proper way. The, the thing about it is this. Remember, everybody's not say everybody, but I say a lot of people are doing this because there's 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 different reasons, right? I, I took. I took a, a, a class before, right? Um, and in this class, uh, one of the subjects was getting um, um, lipo, yes. right? And um, they had a group discussion about it. And there's many different reasons why people do lipo. People do lipo not only for insecurities, but they do lipo for medical reasons as mm -hmm. well, right? Because of certain issues that they have and certain health issues that can cause major issues down the line due to the fact of them being overweight mm -hmm. yeah. due to the fact of them um, um, having certain capabilities of foods they can eat and they can't eat and things mm -hmm. they can drink and they can't drink and they were born with these issues sometimes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the thing about it is that a lot of people are miseducated right and they misunderstand the process but in order for you to go under the knife anytime there's always medical concerns mm -hmm. yeah but how, how do how, how do how do those doctors differentiate um, who's going for the right reasons mm -hmm. and who's not, and do they care? The thing about it is that whenever surgery is being done, they're supposed to be pre-ops. Like, like Fancy mm -hmm. said, they're supposed to be three different things that you have. It's supposed to be a process. Usually, it's usually six months, yep. sometimes Consult. a year yeah. for them to do a process. Medical clearance, major medical surgery. surgery. All right. Unless it is critical for your life. If it's a critical surgery for your life, then they do it right away. Yeah. So, yeah. so let's role play. If you, if you can't, mm -hmm. Are you comfortable with a quick role, role play? Role All right. Play. I'm a woman that uh comes into your 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 establishment establishment, establishment. And, body. And, <laughs> and i and i want and i want to i having a conversation with you about i want the in in invasive mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, it. but i want a okay. bigger butt okay but i'm trying to decide do i want a bigger butt or do i want to get the bbl or do i want to do this in invasive an invasive mm -hmm. lipo treatment with mm -hmm. you that's probably a longer process where i i, I feel like i, I want to go to get the butt and just get my results and seeing that butt after right. i'm uh, bloody on my bed mm -hmm. what what advice would you give somebody who comes in like that it'll be a, a numerous of things first i'm going to consult with you i want to know what exact the, the size you want i want to know how big you want it i uh -huh. need to know that that's if you want it super big i'm going to tell you Listen, we need, first need to consult with your doctor, see if a BBL is a is an option. Not everything is about come to Nancy, I'm trying to take everybody's money, just because this is what I do. Um, if I feel like that's the option, I'm gonna tell a girl, hey, go do the BBL first, because seeing me, it's gonna take months to get your, your booty to the result that you want. Now, if you want something, a filler to look a more natural look, come see me. If you want something non-invasive, Yep. Mm -hmm. I, like you, see, you know how he was like, oh, you know, like it's a longer process mm -hmm. to get, you know, that. Or if mm -hmm. you just want to get the BBL, go to your doctor, and make sure. Just sooner. Some women want like quick result. Mm -hmm. I also feel like it comes down to a lot of women are lazy. They don't want to go do nothing. Some women I see with a butt, I, cause I know I be in the gym, cause I didn't have a butt. I created my butt. Mm -hmm. Like. Some women, I feel like they could go to the gym, but they don't want to do it because they're lazy. They don't want to go to the gym. I know women that tell me, I don't want to go to the gym. I just want to go get my eyes done. And I just don't want, 
I don't like going to the gym. It's too much work. I'm lazy. Women say that. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, surgery is a choice. Just like going to the gym is a, a choice. choice. You get what I'm saying? But once you get your surgery, you got to upkeep. You got to go to the gym too. Surgery. Yeah. It all ends back to the, to the gym. And that's why you see a yeah. lot of women get their body in and like in a year or two, they go back to, you see fat is yeah. coming because they're not taking care of their mm-hmm. body. Which that's correct. We just spoke about. That's you know the whole maintenance. That's why we try to keep the lipo shots in play. I, Go to, I promote a healthy lifestyle. I, I won't like say get surgery, that need surgery and just that's it. Uh-huh. Women that need surgery don't get surgery and women that could have just go to the gym just get surgery because they got the money and that's how I feel because mm-hmm. I know people that it's a little will, bit of both that will be mm-hmm. that's perfect surgery cases and they don't get it mm-hmm. and I know women that why do you even need surgery your body is fine just go to the gym like literally you will see you know and they, they so did I, did I ask you what made you do it what made me do it? I just wanted to look like a Barbie she doll. She said that. Mm, you said that. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to look like a Barbie doll. What is and this idea? I want to look like a Barbie doll. Like I feel like that's La La Land. Me personally. No, like- I feel like I felt like I. You've known me a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. I felt like I looked good before surgery, but mm-hmm. I just felt like it was certain things that w- the gym just wasn't fast enough for me. And I wanted, was like she said, yeah, I wanted instant gratification. I wanted like <laughs> doctor, <laughs> suck it out, make that ass fatter. Because <laughs> that's just real, what it bro. was. And I just wanted to look good. So I feel like, I I'm all like, for surgery. Now look, I, it's my opinion, and, and I hate to, to speak about women as if we're women. But to me, it, it's, it seems like the people that struggle with it are the ones who can't freely talk about it. And I'm saying the ones who are... What do you mean struggle with the it? The ones who... They're, people who are still insecure with what they mm-hmm, did, mm-hmm, I feel they're like they're not having honest conversations you, you, about what even, they did. Honestly, I don't know why women insecure about saying they got their body done. But it's I'm true. Because, 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 because the natural are. girls because bring them are. down. The natural girls bring them down. The natural girls that bring them down. Oh, my body's natural. Let me tell you something. Listen, I I just put a post. A slim person cannot understand what a big person goes through. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say that again. A slim person, a person who's been slim all your life, life, all your life cannot relate or completely understand what a big person is. Mm -hmm. What you've been through that I go through. It's true. (laughs) It's true. Because at the end of the day, right, for people who have struggled with, with, with um with um being overweight mm-hmm. majority of their life and you as a person not you in particular but just you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I don't want to I'm talking to you but as a person right who's been fit majority mm-hmm. of their life you have lived two different completely life forms. <laughs> Come, I'm, I'm, I'm very you serious. Let me tell you. Wait, 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 I'm going to tell you this. Wait, wait, I'm going to tell you this. Hold on, hold on. Two different lifestyles. No, 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 I'm going to tell you what you said. Okay, what I said who is this. Who lives two different lifestyles? A person who's been fit majority of your life and yeah. a person who has been overweight majority oh, of your life. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've lived two different <laughs> lifestyles. Yeah, yeah. Right? Let me yeah, tell you something. I've been a big dude. You don't know what I like. Listen. Listen, listen. I've been a big dude my entire life, okay. right? And how, entire. how is that? And the thing about it is this: the thing about great, this, by I've way. been, I've always been, I've always been, I would say, secure with mm-hmm. my weight since mm-hmm. I was a young age, okay. because I was a funny dude, right? I, I, I was natural. I never made myself feel, you know, feel as though like I was, I couldn't compete, or I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I couldn't, I couldn't be just like everyone else, because I've been chubby like my entire life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's now I'm getting, you know, back into how I used to be, you know. And when I was in high school, I was sort of lifting weights and stuff like that. And I, and I got more built, you know, I had a growth spurt or whatever, right? But the thing about it is this: I've always been a secure person because you know my personality. I always like to joke. I always like to have fun, whatever the case may be. But there's a lot of people out there, right, who've been overweight majority of their life, mm-hmm. that's right? True. And the thing about it is that they don't have the self-esteem. They don't have the security, right? to feel comfortable around everyone who's in shape. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure everyone that has been overweight had their moments and had their issues where they have felt, you know, they have felt low or they felt, you know, belittled. Such, I've been to locations where, like, his example, his perfect example, right? I've been to locations, right? Where I've seen, right? It happened to me before, right? But I've seen people who've been overweight having out the opportunity to partake in something that's going on a roller coaster ride because they're yeah. too big for the yeah, roller coaster I agree. Ride. Yeah. Okay. There's people who are, who are and, 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 and I'm being real with you right here. That's right? true, though. You yeah. see, there's... Um, Planes. There's not... not, not, not pl- Planes, that's, 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 that's simple. You see it all the time, right? Yeah. Where bigger people have to pay for two seats yeah. because they're bigger than the size of the one seat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's another issue. I'm going to give you another situation right here, right? 
Another situation is, here's, a, here's something that a lot of people don't know, right? You see Sky Zone and um, what do they call it? Bounce. Oh, yeah. Those yeah, trampoline yeah, 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 locations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trampoline locations have a weight In, limit. Indoor skydiving. Oh, they have, have a weight I'm, limit. I'm sure. Right? Okay. Their weight limit is supposed to be yeah. 250. Yeah. And majority, right, 60% of our community is overweight. Mm. So let's let 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 me but let, let me say, really, like, I just feel like it's yeah. embracing. Okay, I understand. I would never understand what it's like to be big because yeah. I've never been big my whole life. I've been a skinny girl my whole life. Mm. But I feel like you just gotta embrace what your you body Absolutely. and embrace what you have. Because at one point in high school, mm -hmm. I did not like being too skinny. It was a new thing. You have a little booty, and it mm -hmm. wasn't coming up fast enough. And I was very insecure about that. Mm -hmm. I used to wear literally four pair of jeans so I could look thick in high school. Mm -hmm. Like I have yeah. four, I have two leggings on, and I put two jeans, and I put shorts so I could look really thicker. thicker. Okay. And one time I was sweating bullet. Cause I will, yeah, like, and one time I, I, my boyfriend at the time, one time he saw me taking one jeans and took mm -hmm. the second pair of jeans and the third legging and the fourth legging. Damn. It was like, why do you have so much clothes? And it's literally about to be summer. It's June. I'd have, have gotten soft by then. <laughs> <laughs> no, by, that time, by that time, I wasn't having sex. You know, I didn't, I I didn't have sex in high school. I was but having sex. my whole thing is. <laughs> My whole thing is, I was, yeah, I'm a little bloomer. I was not, yeah, yeah. I, I was not having sex in high school. Okay, okay, okay. I, 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 I don't know if it's a personal question. I don't know if it's a personal question. It's a personal question, right? Mm -hmm. It's a personal question, yeah. right? And if, if you feel uncomfortable not answering question, you don't have to answer it. Mm -hmm. What age did you lose your virginity? Like, uh, like five years ago, six. Six oh, years ago? Oh, okay. What age is that? I guess I was a like thought. 22. 22. Wow, okay. okay. Oh, wow. All right, let me say this. All right, let's, 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 let me, let me, let me. I lost it. I lost when I was 17. I lost when I was 17. Okay, I, I was 16. I was 16. For a dude, I was 16. For a dude that's late. That's a late. Lot of, a lot of my friends were 14, 15, no, 16 years old. Yeah, 17 let me reel, late. Let me reel it back, all right? Okay. I was Let me reel it back. You said that people with natural bodies tend to bring down. Girls with their bodies What do you mean by that? Um, it's like a thing. I, mm -hmm. I it's, it's a like, thing. It's I a thing. thing. Like if you're it. natural, you think like, oh my god, I'm better than a girl who got their body done yeah. because they feel like we took the easy way out. Yeah. No, we I just... think it's two type of people. I think there's people that's like, why do you need to get your body done? Why do you need to go risk your life? Um, to look perfect. Lie, to look perfect. You know what I'm saying? I think there's <laughs> this type of people, mm -hmm. and I think that the type of people, if I don't like my body and I got the money and something mm -hmm. needs to get fixed, I will fix it. That's my and that just that and that's mm -hmm. the kind of type of clientele i want mm -hmm. right. if you feeling good about yourself you got the money come see me let's so enhance what, what, your beauty what would you say to people who feel that way about the, the girls who yeah the and, girl, and, I, and i'm sure because of your business mm -hmm. if i come in and do things mm -hmm. i might have that fear mm -hmm. i might be like yo I want to do this, but I'm scared that, you know, what my friends are going to think that mm. I got this and I keep it completely, thing and I'm scared. Yes, that I keep it completely. So, that's on you. When you come see me, everything is completely confidential. Okay. Mm. If you are like me, I'm super open. If you guys follow me on Instagram and see, I talk about everything that I do, my fillers, my Botox, you name it. Right, I'm talking on. about it. Uh, yeah. Kelly Herbs just said, damn, now I want to lose 25 pounds. <laughs> right, Come see me. You. I have, listen, I also have right, weight loss. What's your Instagram? Say it, it way now. It's now. fancy, fancy. F-A-N-C-I-I-I-F-A-N-C-I-I-I. -I -I -I. Fancy, so fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy. With fancy. some extra eyes. You know what's crazy? I feel Little like, eyes, three I'm, eyes. I'm not against um, surgery, mm -hmm. uh, but like after I know people that do it and I see the pain, they talk about the pain, mm -hmm. you know, that they endure to get that BBL, mm -hmm. to get that lipo. That scares me to the point where my, you know, I know people that's like, oh, you know, like if you're gonna deal with me now that my body's done, the press is up because I, I could have died on that surgery <laughs> table. <'Cause, laughs> right, some people think it's that painful to right. get their body done. So and my friend, told me straight up, then you get your body done is a whole risk. You're risking your whole life for it's that. It's correct. You, you are. risk your life. She's not for lying it. about you that. You risk your whole you risk life. Your it's life. really painful. It's really pain. Like so when you see a woman with their body done and they acting brain new, you don't know the type of pain they endure to get this type of body. Right. Yeah. See that's that's what I'm that's what that's what I'm learning today. I think you want something different from what he wants though. <laughs> 
Are you asking for the same thing? He's getting water. Oh, okay, no, we're good. Yeah, y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all are looking for water. water. He's looking for water. I, I I was nah, he's water. not going to the bar. No, <laughs> I know. I said I was taking water. water. I was not taking water. I was not taking water. We don't have any That's what I'm learning today. I'm learning about, I'm learning that it's not as easy as it seems. This is why I want girls to come to me for pre-op. I want you to consult before you get your surgery. I want to talk to you. I want to consult you because your blood matters, your high blood pressure matters. I need to know if you did a weight loss surgery. That matters because a lot of girls are doing weight loss surgery before they even go do. Is um, there there good money in it? Like for you? Like, um, yeah, it's it's a lucrative business. It is. So you work with, you mentioned that you work with celebrities. Who are some of the celebrities? So I worked with Fresher. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Is that Fresher? Fresher. He got his body done? No, he didn't get his body done, but he comes to the spa, get facials. facials. I'm a skincare. So I do more things than just body. So he did his skincare. He gets massages. He came with his wife. Jen, thank you for coming. I'm so excited to have you. And I have Chinese Nikki. Yeah, she's so amazing. She's from she, Love and Hip Hop. I seen her do a video uh, yes. on, on the Trinidad. Uh, something about they're going yeah, to we Trinidad. Went to, we went, we went already. We just came back literally today. Thank mm-hmm. you. Came back straight from Trinidad. We did a Trinidad tour because I work at Bella Body Spa in Queens. So we were promoting the business. I'm promoting myself. Right. And Chinese Nikki is our ambassador. She's beautiful. Oh, she's okay. all about body care. Um, we also brought her daughter, Chinese Kitty. She does everything. Meow, 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 meow. She does everything body care. So we love these people. So we do her daughter, Cami. We've done a lot of. It's a lot of people, but you know, some people I can't name. All right, let me. There's a secret about it. <laughs> let's get let's 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 get off the body for a second and sure. talk skincare because skincare. skincare is a wave now. Um, what what advice or what can you tell us about how important it is to keep our skin clear? Drink a lot of water. Not it's only so yeah, hard. we're Kiki. out water, bro. We just yeah. have water, too, bro. water is like so oh, essential. You a hater, though? Nah, I get it. I get it. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Water is so essential. Mm-hmm. Not only water and just come and get your facial. I'm not going to tell you to come see me every yeah. day. Mm-hmm. Come every four weeks, get a facial, rejuvenate mm-hmm. your skin, clean out your pores, Facts. get rid of the comedones, the papules, meaning pimples, blackheads, yes. whiteheads, okay? Bring it down to layman <laughs> terms. Um, this is all important. We want to look beautiful until we're like 80 years old. I Absolutely. think that's the thing yeah. with, with that. I think... Like literally me, yeah. you, everybody that we know. I think every woman wants to look beautiful. Mm-hmm. Every every woman don't want to age. Every At woman want to stay youthful. I'm terrified of getting old. I me love too. being young. All the free stuff, being free, pretty, you know, free mm-hmm. money, like anything. But like every woman don't want to age. Men don't mind aging. But women are changing. Age. Men are changing. You know what I have? You know what I have an issue with? No, 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 for real. You know what I have an issue with? I have an issue with my. Males are the new bad bitches. Males are the new bad bitches. Males. Listen, you can't. Yeah, that's that's oh, a good curse. That's cool. Oh, sorry. So what can sorry. I do about this? Because I I can't stand these bags. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And I had them for a long time. And we have something called the Macho Man facial. We take care of your. Macho I like man. how that sounds yeah. too. Nah, I'm so comfortable you're not too, again. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't like, I don't like telling. I don't want nobody telling me they're giving me a facial, bro. Exactly. <laughs> hey, so we call it. You. Exactly. We call it the Macho Man. Hey, yo. We the don't macho. even call it facial. Ooh, yeah. the the macho Man. The macho Man. Hey, yes. yo. We Ooh, take care yeah. of the beards that you guys got going on. Oh, so the I... ingrown hairs. We took. We take care of all of that. Oh yeah. Steam. And it's not like a, when you go to the barbershop and you just get your hot towel. And towers. you do, you do, mm-hmm. you do. I saw something that you do, um, a vagina, vagina? enlarging it, or something, large, uh, some tightening, something like that. Yeah, we tighten it. We do vaginal steaming. Vaginal, vaginal steaming. steaming. Okay, wait a wait a let wait me second. bring wait it back to my roots. Hold, hold on, hold on. Let hold me hold bring on. it back to my roots. Go I'm going to say go where ahead. I'm from. Put me on, put me okay. on. Okay, so I'm a Haitian woman. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Haitian woman. Oh, yeah, you don't feel like So the vaginal steaming, we do it. I brought it into the spa. Okay. I don't know if most people know about the Haitian bath after you get pregnancy or just keeping yourself together mm-hmm. and keeping that cootie cat fresh mm-hmm. and tight. <laughs> yeah. More fire said, yeah. more, more fire said steaming. Do steaming. tell. Do mm-hmm. tell. Go ahead. So vaginal steaming, it's a process. That's Any, an enlargement. Anyone Sorry. who knows, mm-hmm. if you're from the Haitian community, that you do a three-day process after you give birth. Mm. Now, we've taken that into giving birth into the regular lifestyle of a woman to keep... 
keep it tight. Keep okay. it right. All right. All right. Man, don't want to lose, do you? Snatch. I know. Keep I know. My man so, so, so keep, keep your vagina Cali- snatch. Cali- Cali- smelling good. <laughs> keep that pay- pH balance. Yes, good. yes, pH yes, balance. yes, yes. PH. So Cali, <laughs> Cali Herbs, Cali Herbs said, um, it's true because my age depresses me. Mm-hmm. And then, um, okay, that's it. They, okay. they, 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 they were curious about the steaming, Sheesh. and they made fun of me for saying vagina enlargement. Sheesh. Sheesh. Mm-hmm. Not enlargement, but steaming. Enlarge- like, we don't want nothing enlarged. We want nothing yeah. enlarged. Like, you're talking about like your clitoris and stuff? Clitoris? Well, no, no if you want to get it bigger, we have something to stimulate it. To, when you want to get to escalate, when you want to climax with your man. Mm. What do you mean? We put a little... Everybody know about that honey. Mm-mm. Should we put yeah. honey in your vagina? No. We'll, we'll put honey in that vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I, by the way, I love Danny Dooley. Danny, 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 Danny making a face, Can't but later she gonna go home with me. She gonna, she gonna, <laughs> she gonna she be like, wait a second. She I gonna grab think, some honey, you know. and she gonna be like, <laughs> she gonna take that honey teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. That honey yeah. teddy bear. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna be like, <laughs> I do not want to enla- enlarge my clitoris <laughs> or my vagina because, like, do that. They won't be like, oh, you have a like fat clitoris. And yeah, I'm like, like, dang. <laughs> oh my God. A lot of girls after surgery. It's so funny. A lot of girls, doctors, especially in DR, it's a big thing to make their vaginas larger, bigger. No, I don't want to. They get my add more fat larger. to it. Mm. But vaginal steaming is numerous things. If you want to keep your pH balance together, I definitely do that. If you want a tighter vagina, it's. You can come see me at Bella's body, and we definitely do all that. Mm. Well, um, cleansing, um, the moisture. Mm. You know, as you get older, you're not gonna be as wet. Mm-hmm, mm. mm-hmm. You want to keep it wet and tight. Mm-mm. So you're gonna come see me. Keep it moist. Keep moist. it moist. Well, look. With, moist. with, 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 uh, with that being said, um, fancy. We really appreciate you coming. Yes. Um, yes thank yes, you yes. for sharing that knowledge with us. Yes. yes. Um, thank you. Do you want to just quickly tell them where they can find you? Where, if you want to give the address of, of the course. shop and all that, that's your camera as yeah. well. Hey. And please mm-hmm. just let us know how where we could get out where I can get my uh, okay. little, little belly light bulb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys can find me on Instagram at fancy fancy. You can find me at Bella Body Spa 133 20 in Springfield Gardens, Queens, New York. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a celebrity esthetician, I do all types of celebrities, mm-hmm. male and female. Mm-hmm. Come see me and get this body snatched. Get Bella body, body spot, right? Snatched, Correct. Man. So thank you. Um, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be right back. Quick music break. Then we got a couple of conversations and topics that we got to get into before we get out of here. Shout out to Fancy for joining us. Really, thank you. We uh, we are honored to have have you here. I'm just saying, show. Let's go. Yeah. Girl, I'm in love with you, baby, and I want you to know that I'm hooked on your body. Shout out to Fancy Fancy who just joined us. I'm just saying, show, what's up? I'm just saying, show every Tuesday. Make sure y'all follow Fancy Fancy who just pulled up. Bella Body, let's go. I don't make waste, living life. Every day, click waste. Waste, sipping on purpose, stuff, rolling up, stank it. Waste, wake up in the morning, 10 o'clock, drink waste. Party, 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 let's all get waste. Shout out to everybody who got it locked in. I'm just saying, show. I'm so wasted. She's so wasted. Waste, tell the bar, tell the city, 21.
ain't I? Right here. Hey, yo, Burst Trini, I got you. I'm about to post that her her Instagram right here, right now. I'm about to be snatched. What's up? Go to Bella Body, get all of the above. To me living my dreams, how to bend to the vibe. You heard? How to serve to be rich, headed straight to the top. Look how I'm right for the block. Look how I'm right for the block. Yo, go to Bella Body, get all of the above. You heard? Getting this fortune and fame. Money that go on the change. The new defense is all white, call it John McCain. How the hell could you stop me? How the world would you try? I go on forever. That's just how I'm designed. That's just how I was built. Yo, HL, why they need to go to Bella Body? Why they need to go to Bella Body? Red Bone. Steam, 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 steam that. Yo, bust it open and go get that steam so you can make sure tight is right back at Bella Body. Let's go. show we are back we are back yo um you said uh yeah. it seems like bella body has a location in tnt as well what you mean is that trinidad what you talking about yeah, what's TNT? TNT. Trinidad. that's trinidad. Right. trinidad oh you're talking about they got it in trinidad as oh well that's boy, what's up man. trinidad boy oh god mm, yeah, all right man that's what's up man and opening oh. in dubai wow. all right man yeah, yeah. do 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 atl do, miami do, <laughs> dubai <laughs> All right, man. So let, let's. Okay. Hey, <laughs> sounds like a flight. I don't be flying that far. <laughs> you know how many times? One time this dude was supposed to fly me to Dubai. I didn't go because it was too far. Like my cousin, I was supposed to go with my cousin. 
She tried to go with me. It was too far. It's an eight hour flight. I, I only flight? go to half. I, I mean, you could say it. I know you care about your body. Why not come get some work done in Dubai? Why can't I get it done in Queens? <laughs> 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 So why can't you get it done by Jamaica? <laughs> Yo, let's let's um again, man. Shout out to shout out to Fancy Fancy that just facts, joined us, facts, man. She facts. she really dropped some gems and kept it real with us. Really appreciate that conversation. Hopefully that conversation helped people make them decisions, and hopefully that conversation educated somebody who's who's uneducated, such as myself, about body enhancements and all that extra stuff. All right, bet. Let's keep it moving. So, um, let's get into this. So we're gonna we're gonna talk a little trash for a second, and. Uh, fancy fancy I know you sitting there if you want to come join us about nonsense please feel free so I got a question for y'all right mm -hmm. if um if your girlfriend or your boyfriend accuse you of cheating right yeah and with somebody specific so like for example your girl sees you having a close relationship with somebody that mm -hmm. they see you at the party they see that you close to that person and or or vice versa um, Fancy or, or Danny is with this dude that you know I see like they have a connection and yeah. I accuse Danny of cheating with that guy if she never did it and yeah. we end up breaking up is it okay for her to really end up sleeping with that guy no Ooh. no for what I mean you wanted to do it though yeah. exactly yeah but that you never did you never did the girl she's fine you never did. You break up with Shorty a year, two years later, opportunity presents itself. I mean, like, time Are you changed. supposed to be like, no, no, or what? No, like, time changed. Like, okay, let's just say, uh, let's just say you accused me of sleeping with one of my homeboys because I got a lot of those. Mm -hmm. And I didn't sleep with him. And that actually happened to me. Yeah, like, I'm sure. I got accused of sleeping with one of my homeboys. At the time, I got accused of sleeping with one of my homeboys. I was definitely not sexually attracted to him, nor well, like him. I just saw him as a strict homeboy mm -hmm. never did anything with him never even thought about doing anything when when i was with the dude that i was with when i left him like two years later three two three years and you know i started looking at him different right yeah but like, at the time it wasn't my it wasn't in my head so time so. changes so no it's not a bad thing like if i'm not the thing is if we're not together no more i do whatever the fuck uh, oh, the hell Hell. Sorry, I don't. Okay, the thing is, if we're not together no more, I do whatever I want. I don't okay. owe you no loyalty no more. I don't owe you no trust. I don't owe you anything. If we're not oh. together, you're doing your own thing. I'm doing my own thing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> if you have Chris now cheating with somebody that I did cheat with, if I want to have sex with him now, I could. Wait, let's clarify. <laughs> before, before you rebuttal, oh, let me let's ask Danny okay, to clarify okay. something real quick. Is there a time frame? There's no time you, frame. Okay. Once we're not together, okay. we're not together. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, uh, that's that's right. why, let's just say if I ask, if I get into an argument with a dude, I'm dealing with somebody, and then we got we get into something, and let's just say we stop talking. Talking, let's just say for a month. If you have sex with somebody else within that month, I can't really be mad at you because I gave you that space. Ooh, it's too soon. Okay. I won't be mad. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I'm you gonna... do what you do because believe me, baby, I'm going to do what I do. You feel me? <laughs> believe me, I'm going to do what I do. You feel me? Like, that's I, that. I completely disagree with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm coming back. I completely disagree with that. We're not together anymore. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. A month is too soon. All right, I'm so somebody, back. before I'm you tell us, somebody save says, that, I don't, save that I don't know I don't know what the topic is, but I agree with anything Danny says. <laughs> 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 She's never wrong in my eyes. I love it. Yo, let me tell you. Let me tell you, all right? If I accuse you of dealing with someone, yeah. okay. and then you deal with them, you're proving me right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Tell why. why. Right? right? Because you're not gonna deal with someone you had no attraction for. Mm -hmm. That means you had an attraction for that person, and then now that you have the opportunity to seize the moment, you're seizing the moment. But I never and I'm said, gonna feel. You never said, listen, but that's but you never I'm know. going to but feel. I'm telling you what I'm going to feel. What you gonna feel? I'm going to feel you've been wanting to do that, no, and then you prove my point. So let me tell you and something. That's your feelings, baby. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Right? Let me tell you something. Trees don't come out of the air. Trees okay. take time oh, no. to grow. Okay. Yes. So now that means that yeah. when you was with me, right, mm -hmm. you had a fascination or you was enthused. This person gave you some type you of just enthusiasm. Local, local poppy. Right? Absolutely. You right? crazy. So now when the opportunity presented itself, mm -hmm. right, you seized the opportunity and he seized the opportunity. So it doesn't only necessarily mean let me, that let that me. woman mm -hmm. was the initiator, but that man 
had his eye on the prize. You but, what yeah, I'm but it doesn't matter. He was respectful enough not to work on it. This is what it is. Okay. You know, I don't gotta be attracted to you to mm-hmm. have sex with you later on or to get with you later on. Okay. Once you got respect for somebody, it mm-hmm. could turn into love. It could turn into some other stuff. When you vibe with somebody, you got yeah. respect for somebody. Sometimes you be next to somebody, you don't you don't you don't look at them for years and you end up together. It doesn't matter. Because mm-hmm. respect, oh man. Uh, respect turn into like you know love respect turn into a lot of things mm-hmm. at the moment could have been is not our moment at the time at the moment because that really happened to me because when it happened i really had no intention to get with that dude i did okay. not i never even see him that way okay. but later on you know we, we we created a vibe that was so dope and mm-hmm. then i have respect for him and he's a real dude okay. so it's kind of like if it happened i'm not with you no more i'm not gonna deny him some vagina because he's a real man we're and I'm talking about time for frame now. how there's soon there's no time frame bro. there's no time frame so wait 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 Time frame. Frame. Oh, they gotta be a time frame. Are we together anymore? Listen, Listen to the comments. Okay. 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 Right, wait, 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 wait. There gotta be a time frame. Wait, wait. Because because Shreddy, Shreddy, if you said, have sex, wait. if you have, before you say, I'm sorry, go I'm sorry, Kev, I gotta, go ahead, go I gotta go say go. this, right? You say, get it out. If bro. you have sex, yeah. right? Mm. Within a month of my breakup, you never really love me. What? You Correct. never really love me. If you have sex with someone within a month, of our breakup, you never really if love I, me. And let me tell you how serious I am with this I'm going to tell months. you why, right? Because I Yo, always Callie, said this, you right? right and Kevin, I know you agree to this, right? I'm going to talk later. When it comes to... Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to talk later, Your thing right? is, if I have sex within a month, we break up, I never loved you? No. no I'm going to tell you no, why. Don't say I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why, right? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I'm serious. I'm serious. Your love for me is not real. Your love is gone. It been gone. Oh, right? Because that. when a woman disconnects from you, a woman disconnects with you way before the breakup. That's, That's where the disconnection that is, is right? Yeah. The disconnection is coming way before the breakup, right? But you oh, having oh. sex within a month of our breakup means you don't respect me. Don't say that. That's the way I look at it. That, because let me, me tell you, let me in tell general. you. Let me tell you, right? Because because when we are in a relationship, your vagina is mine. Oh, my penis no, is you yours. Don't, you don't my so vagina. now, you when you come out vagina. of this relationship, you right? Don't, you don't when, own my listen, vagina. This, I let you borrow this, my this vagina. Is, this, this, You're borrowing my vagina. This, this, is, this is my opinion, right? This is my, remember, this is my opinion, okay, right? Okay, okay, go ahead. When time, you right? together with me, with <laughs> Haitian lover, that vagina is mine. It's it belongs right, right, to right, me. Wait, wait, wait. We got to read Right to me. Hold on, let me read it. Not your mom, not your son. That's your daughter. It belongs that's my to me. No, that's my vagina. Okay. I said when, where, who, with who, whenever. No, I let you borrow my vagina. Maybe thinking it's that vagina. It's never your vagina, baby. It's the <laughs> vagina that God gave me. It's attached to my body. Because if it was your vagina, when we break up, you would have taken it with you. Because mm. if, if it was really about my, my penis, I would have taken it with me. I would have taken a lot of penis with me, but I can't because it's not my <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, look, wait, 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 wait. Don't respond. Yeah, All right, yeah, okay. All right. I we love got, this. We, <laughs> 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 that's, that's we got we got to we got to read this. All right, Bert Trini said, "An X is an X. Once once you're over, sky is the limit." Wait, but then Ginger T said, "Okay, but why accuse me though? Yeah, if a man is questioning, leave him. Mm. You don't you, you don't know, need that kind of energy. You, you, if you cheat and you're suspicious." If you if I cheat and you're suspicious, leave. Whoa, can whoa, y'all, whoa! Can y'all Don't secure, confront can y'all, me. These men are annoying. Can, whoa, whoa, Ginger, I was with you until you said that. Can I can I uh, tell y'all a secret? Mm. Don't ever accuse anybody of cheating with a person. Don't do that. You only gonna make them do it. If I wasn't looking mm. at that person that so that's way, my, that's my, you know that's, what I'm saying? That's, I'm saying that's my point. That's, that that that's my point. You don't have dreams. I have dreams. That's Dream my about point. Why? Dream about what? Dreams that. Sometimes your significant other is doing something. Oh yeah, wow. everybody has. I don't that listen. Dream, that's that the thing. Random. I don't. Everybody first of all, that random first of all, let yeah. me be, let me be very honest with you. I don't trust no men that I'm with. Okay. I never did trust no men that I'm with. I don't see you for a month. I know for a fact you could tell me that oh, I was thinking about you. I was this. I was but that. You I know you have sex with somebody you, else. I don't care. You're not supposed to go a month without your significant exactly. other. Exactly. That's Unless too much. It's work yeah, that's just crazy. But my thing is this: that's if I'm in a relationship crazy. with you, I got to see you how many times a week? Two, three times a week. Exactly. And the thing. 
thing is, it, it, even if you got a nine to five schedule, that's crazy. I gotta see you at the weekend. The weekend. No, sometimes you stop talking to people. Sometimes y'all go on too much without talking. No, that's not a relationship. Sometimes y'all break up for a month or two and y'all get back together. If you break up, sometimes y'all just go like you know. People have different. Every situation you have with somebody is a relationship. Yeah, mm. it's a, a friendship is a relationship. Okay, it's a everything relationship. is a relationship. Yeah, Don't right. think, even if that's not my man, I'm still in a relationship with this man. Mm. A relationship is something is is, is something that involves two people. Just because we're not boyfriend and girlfriend doesn't mean we're not in a relationship. Right. Just, we're all in a relationship. a relationship. There's yeah, work right, relationship, right, right. friend relationship, and you go about it every every way. But my whole thing is if. Uh, if I just don't, if I'm done with somebody, he was accusing me. I was already tired of the thing, and the person he was accusing me with is still my friend. And yo, he's not in the picture no more. I'm not feeling you no more. And do we wanna have sex? And I wanna have sex. We're gonna have sex. We having sex. Yeah, well, just don't go around saying to people that we in a relationship and we not. <laughs> Just Facts. Facts. But Facts. bring that Facts. back. I said, What'd don't go say? around telling people we in a relationship and we not. Accusing somebody is already wrong. You know what I'm saying? One time I was dealing with a dude, I had a feeling he was having sex with this girl. Mm -hmm. I did not want to accuse him because as soon as I accuse him, I know how it's going to get. So how would you feel if now he actually has sex with that girl? Oh, it's okay. After. It's okay. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you straight. That's why men don't get some. Sometimes I deal with men. They think they this high. They think I get a lot of men, and I get women too. Women love me. If I was gay, I would get all the women. Women <laughs> wanna have sex with me. Danny men wanna have sex with me. You know, no, no, it's not about being sexual. Like it's like I'm not. People is attracted <laughs> to me. Sexy. Men and women is attracted to me. So if a man wanna go have sex with one woman, do you know how many men don't wanna have sex with me when I open my DM? Mm -hmm. That goes for blue checks, regular men, not the five men, celebrities, yeah, absolutely. on everything. It, yeah, it's yeah. not it, that doesn't face me okay you know what I'm saying so if you want to do what you do do what you do because believe me when it's time for me to do what I do you you're not even gonna know and I'm the worst I'm the best liar ever I act like I don't know nothing mm. I act dumb <laughs> <laughs> Then ginger tea ginger ginger tea ginger tea is toxic as hell in here man yeah what ginger she said. tea said I'm a cheat no Ooh. lies I'm a cheat I'm prepared to die I won't be blatant with it, but I'm cheating the moment I get into a relationship because <laughs> oh TF I look like making him cheat first. You know, I, Yo, you, know, tea, you know what I used to do? Ginger tea is toxic. You know what man. I used toxic. to do? You know what I used to do? I'm not going to lie. I don't do it no more, but I really used to do that. Mm. I can lie. When I get into a relationship, I would cheat one time. Why? Because just in case you cheated on me, we even. Ooh, what? I'm just a lover's in, lover. That is toxic. Just in case. I'm not cheating. Because I know men are not faithful. <laughs> Men are not faithful. Men are not. I don't believe in trying to preserve my coochie for mine. Disagree. I disagree. Men just in case faithful. I find out you did it. Oops, I did it too. I keep it a thousand. I keep it, I keep yeah. it a thousand. I keep it a thousand. I've been in relationships when I've been faithful, and I've been in relationships where I did my thing. But men can be faithful mm -hmm. and it takes that's her. Don't it, say it takes to me. yeah i believe it, it takes, sometimes listen i've done i've i've been faithful i've Man been can in relationships be faithful. where i've been 100 percent faithful kinda, right right and the that. thing and, and i keep it real 100 percent faithful and there's been relationships where i was playing the field right and the thing about it is every what, girl's different right every girl yeah, is different every man fact. is different i've right? been i've been i've been in relationships hella faithful yeah one of my boys right now I mean, this dude was the hoest hoe I, I ever met. Like, I looked up Kev, to him in high school. Mm. Listen, I've been in relationships super faithful. super faithful. I've been in relationships where I cheated, but mm -hmm. the fact of the matter is that you can do it. My boy, I used to look up to him because he was a super hoe. Mm -hmm. And this dude met this girl and, and got married, bruh. And I, 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 I never thought I'd see the day. When he becomes this yes. great husband mm -hmm. and this super Gavin. faithful dude, some people never thought I'd see the day for bro, bro. Some people have to take and I, every time I see him, I be like, too. "You a different dude, some bro." Some people was there. Yeah. Yeah. No, it takes one woman to change a man. Yes, Don't believe be faithful. Yes. Yeah, it takes one faithful. woman yes. to change a man. If your man is yes. not changing, you're not that woman. Period. Move on, mm -hmm. because. Some men really do change for certain women. Yes. I watch men do that all the You're time. Right. I've done and it. some <laughs> men stop cheating once they get married. Mm -hmm. And some men stop cheating when they find somebody solid. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Sometimes you can't change them. If you can't change a man to stop doing whatever, 
That's not the man for you. That was a man for you. will change for the perfect woman. Yeah. If a man don't, don't want to change for you, just leave because you're not his woman. Sometimes not his it takes woman. mental growth. Yes. So. And sometimes it, it takes it always. An age. Age. Yeah. It always. Always. It always. always takes mental so growth. growth. Always. Yeah. Because it's mental growth, right? And mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, it's mental growth, and it's sh- and not only that, it's the woman being secure with herself mm-hmm. and showing him mm-hmm. that the she, love the affection the love affection and the value of a man that she deserves mm-hmm. and sometimes when she has value in and herself some, and sometimes we can feel I, I and sometimes let me value, tell you something value. let me tell you, let me tell let me tell you what i'm learning uh-huh. men knows who to play with and, and who, who not, not to play, play with. with yeah of course and i've learned that uh-huh. men knows who to play with and who not to play with. If he's playing with you, he Ooh. don't respect you. Men really knows who to play with. Yeah. I met men that have been this, that, or third, and they met certain women. They they start acting right. They know they don't act right. This woman is now with the the jiggity jiggity. The mm-hmm. And then she will be <laughs> don't, she, that, you that's don't what know you can't say. Yeah. Ooh. And she will just be at and she will leave you. Men know who to deal with. Jim. Men know when they find a good woman and that woman is not about forgiving and none of that. You do anything, I'm out. Mm-hmm. Ginger, you know Ginger, T, Ginger T said, "Cheat with his boss if he's an entrepreneur. Cheat with his barber." <laughs> but, oh. but that's my whole thing. That's what I but used she said, to. Lots of men are I faithful. Used to do, man, lots of men are faithful. I used to do a lot of, oh, you know, I'm a cheat back, or you know, I'm a cheat before he cheat. But guess what? You know what I realized? I'm like cheating, not gonna get me even with a man. No, I would no, never be even not. because I have sex with the other man. No. I think your karma is not revenge. Yeah, it's not revenge. It's not I revenge. think no. your karma to me. Like when you deal with me is the fact that when I'm done with you, I'm only done with you. You're never gonna get close to me. You're never gonna get close to my vagina. You done lost the best sex of your life. You done mess the best woman of your life. You done mess the best head of your life. That's your karma. Anything uh, yeah. else, cause nobody as real as me. Nobody as dope as me. Nobody as funny as me. Nobody gonna hold it down like me. So my karma, when we're not together, do whatever you want. When I leave you, I leave you for I would never speak to you yeah. again. See, I'm not, and I'm the not, glow I'm, up. And that's the glow up. And that's I'm not that. married. I'm not married. All that extra shit. I'm not married, but you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting pressure on it now. I feel this way now, but when I get married, I'm not breaking those vows, bro. Mm. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not breaking, I'm not breaking those vows. And I, I just wouldn't do it, bro. Because there's a, there's, a, there's a level of like, there's a level of, as a dude, first of all, as a dude, we don't want to get married. I, I don't care to get married. It's not something that's on my mind every day. I just don't I care to, to do it. To uh-huh. me, it's pointless, I guess. I think I, it, I think marriage is more of a woman thing. That's I just my like opinion. I feel like marriage is pointless I think it's a too. woman thing. I, I, think it's a, for women, I think it's for women to feel more secure. It's not, it's not a dude marriage thing. Don't but I would do it. Just, I would do it. I'm married? doing marriage. But, yeah. but, but when listen, you do it. You know what? I need to know age frame in this group. Because I think maybe it is a different age range. We're not we're gonna, gonna get to. We're, we're gonna get to. It's not that far. It's not that far. It's not that far. It's not that far. It's not far. It's not far. I'm pushing forty. Huh? We're, we're around the same age. Oh, you don't even look like it. Danny's a little younger than us. Fancy, fancy. I don't think marriage make nobody. I know a lot of married men that cheat. Mm-hmm. I know right. a lot of married men yeah, that cheat. Yeah, it cheats. just wouldn't happen, bro. Yeah, not you, but I know a lot of married men that yeah, cheat. No. I see a lot of married men in the club, no, and this. they do what they do. I know a lot of married men right with now. a side check. I know what this is. Lots of men are faithful. Okay, I'm ready to hear Let me tell you something. Let me tell you Go something. Go ahead. We married... We sex in all these checks together. I swear Ooh, to God. I don't want you to do that. Any girl, I any girl, that. I girl I and, and I keep it a thousand. I keep it a hundred. And I, and I mean, it. It's, I, I say this with sincerity. I right? can't. When I get married and I want to smash another chick, I'm telling my shorty. I'm saying, listen, we're going to smack my wife. I'm going to tell my wife. But why is she we're not gonna into women? Why is she not she's into She's going to be in. Okay, he's not going to marry, okay, he's okay. Not okay. Gonna marry someone okay. who he knows he can't do okay. that with. Okay. I'm going to do that why with her. Because she can't do it me. Why I'm going to be like, baby, you, you, okay. what do you think about her? Okay. You think she's cute? Okay, why is your girl say, why do you, you think about uh. this man? You think he cute? She's not gonna do that. She, yeah. No, no. Why? That's what she wanna do. She too. won't do that. You know why? why? Because that's my wife. That's your wife. Why? That's that double standard. And I that's can only do it exactly if I don't saying. love you. Threesomes go both ways. Yeah. When I don't love you, <laughs> when I don't love you, we can have threesomes. But if uh-huh. I, I love, love you, you I can't have a threesome. Ooh. I can't have threesomes. You know what's crazy? You I, wouldn't do it to I, save I, your I, marriage? No, I, been, yo, I would not have a threesome. You wouldn't do it to save your marriage? A threesome is not gonna save your marriage. Fancy just said something. That brought back so much memories in <laughs> yes, my mind. Yes, I love you. Let I me tell you something. something. I don't want to have a threesome if I love you. I'm going to no. keep it real personal with you. That's my day. And I hate that, right? I'm going to tell you why I hate that. 
because this has happened to me mm-hmm. multiple times, right? I've talked to a girl mm-hmm. who's been interested mm-hmm. in having a threesome, okay. yeah. mm-hmm. right? And now, once me and that girl start dealing on a more serious level, mm-hmm. when it's time, when it's time for me to bring it up, they go, "No, I'm not bringing it up." I said, "I just said no, I'm not doing it." I said, "Why?" I said, "Because." I like you, like you. I really like you. That's so bad. it happened. This happened to me. You don't bring up what? this what, happened what, what? to me four times. Yeah, they, they don't bring up threesomes because they I, like you, like you. During the dating process, yeah, they wanted I've to asked do them. it. I said, you know, you know, just general question. Well, they're not, they're not that secure yet, right? It's so, not so, secure. Okay, the okay, general the process. Listen, so, well, let me tell listen, you. Listen, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. The general process, right? During the dating stage, I always ask that question. Right, I always have question. Have you had a threesome? Are you interested in having a threesome? If you were, would it? You know, what I'm saying, what would it be, or whatever the case may be. And three women. There was one woman who already had one. Yeah. So right, already had one. Know. And then I'm like, okay, so what's up? I'm, I'm with it. Let's do it. Let's no, do it. No, I really no, like you. I I've like always you. gotten that. No, I really like you. I, I like your really... vibes. So I'm not gonna. So I said, so the dudes you did it with, you didn't like them? Let me no. tell you something. Let no. me tell you. No, no. This is how. Ginger said this, I'm not doing listen, it. Listen, this is how threesome work in my eyes. Okay, a threesome work. I go to Miami with my homegirls. You know, she look good, I look good. We both see somebody, we both like. Yo, let's take him out, let's take him down together. Mm. We both single, there's no feelings there. We're gonna have fun for the night. That's how threesome works. I'm not gonna love you and give you a threesome. Next thing you know, Mama Sita calling you. Next thing you know, you let me for Mama Sita. Next thing you know, you still having sex with Mama Sita. But what if you yeah, choose mama, the girl? We're not, we're not doing nothing. What if you no, choose the girl? Not, I'm not. And the only stuff I'm gonna give a man a threesome is if we go to Zimbabwe. Let's go to Brazil. Ooh, no. no, Brazil. Brazil got that. Wait, got that. No, age still, rate is what? high. Yeah, not Brazil. Brazil. It doesn't matter. Rio de Janeiro? No. Come on, son. No, no, no. You don't, Come on, son. <laughs> you, you don't understand where I'm coming from. My whole thing is this is what I'm trying to tell you. A threesome, yes. I think that goes for anybody. If yes. you wanna have a threesome, do it with random people. You know, don't do a threesome in your relationship if you're with not your all the way secure with that relationship. Uh-huh. Because I just had a threesome with my friend one time, and I had a threesome with my friend. Matter of fact, it wasn't a threesome. We had an orgy. Um, uh-huh. And what happened was, it was some weird stuff. I had an orgy Ooh. when I was a virgin. It's weird. It was like, let Danny oh. lose her virginity in a threesome, in, in an orgy. Wow. Anyways, but the whole thing is, after we had that OG, this man, we know I didn't have, he didn't take my virginity, but I gave him fellatio because I gave him before I lost my virginity. Yeah. Then in the bed when she's sleeping, yo, let me get your number. Still trying to hook up with me. Wow. I ain't doing that. When If I want to have a threesome, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my homegirl. We're going to go to Vegas. We're going to go to Miami. We're going to go somewhere mm-hmm. exotic. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have fun. We're going to take probably like, we're going to drink. We're going to smoke. We're probably going to pop a pill. And then we're going to pick somebody together and mm-hmm. we're going to have a threesome. And we don't have a guy to talk to this dude ever again. I'm not giving my man a threesome. For what? And unless I go to like Dubai with my man, mm-hmm. I'll go somewhere and then we, we pick up some exotic woman, Brazilian mm-hmm. that don't speak no English, that don't got no papers. That's going to come in your hotel and rob you. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, you know, yeah. No, we're going to have that threesome because I know she don't speak English and I know she don't got no papers to come <laughs> to America and I know that whole process take forever and I know you're not gonna, it's not somewhere we're going to go back I'm all gonna, the time. We could have I'm a threesome. I'm going to Having, you're not having a threesome in my city. You're not having a threesome in New York yeah. me in Brooklyn. You're not. We're not doing none of that. I'm a little different from Danny. I don't. Even, I don't care what? if I go to Dubai, Miami, whatever. I don't want you to feel what I feel. Oh, that's perfect. It's not even about that. that, note, that, on that note, on that note, it's not even on about. that note, we gotta go, y'all, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> Bro. I don't even know what to say. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate Fancy for coming through. Me. Oh, I love him so much. I'm just oh, saying, show we out of here. That's